Hey folks and welcome to San Diego Stadium. It's the final game of the divisional round here in 1979. And after today we're down to our final four teams and we'll announce those shortly. So today we are playing this once again in game winning drive. Found this at downygames.com. We're playing the 1979 season. We're actually just playing the playoffs out right now. I got a couple of scores I will show you though. It was in the wild card round. It was the Chicago Bears over the Philadelphia Eagles and the Houston Oilers over the Denver Broncos. This is the final of four games of the divisional round that we're playing right now. The other three games have been played. They are up on my channel or will be shortly if you want to check those out. And we'll reveal those final scores once we start playing the AFC and NFC Championship games on our way to the finals. So it's going to be, at quarterback, it's going to be Dan Fouts taking on Dan Pastorini. Some other notables here is Lydell Mitchell in the backfield. And Joyner and Jefferson are the receivers for San Diego. And for Houston, you know Earl Campbell, you know him, as well as the receivers Burrow and Caster. Tony Frisch is the kicker for the Oilers. So for today's game, these will be the dice of San Diego, dark and light. And for Houston, dark and light. So I like to roll to see who is going to get the opening kickoff. And Houston with the six is going to get the first possession of the game. So the Oilers come out. Pastorini is going to lead the Oilers here. Now, neither team has a punt return or a kick return, so we're not going to be rolling for any kicks like that, so it's going to be straight offense today. So here comes Pastorini now. He's going to lead the Oilers out to their first possession. And it's a good-looking drive for the Oilers. Earl Campbell carrying that ball quite a bit. They're in the red zone now. And that's going to be a handoff to Campbell. And that's going to be a touchdown run for Earl Campbell in... It's 6-0, just like that, Oilers. So the shock San Diego defense gives up 6 points right away. Now we're going to roll for the point after. That's 11-65. to 65. So anything but box cars would probably be good. And the extra point is good. So right off the bat, the Oilers drive down and make it 7 to nothing. Let's get San Diego dice right now. See if Dan Fouts can count us. So the home team with their first possession on the day. And yeah, they come right back. San Diego answers right back. Fouts looking back. The pass just tipped away. And so they will have to settle for the field goal with that roll of 61. So San Diego comes down and they pick up the field goal. So they're on the board. It's 7-3. And for fun, I like to see how that field goal was. And that is a 36-yard field goal for Wood, the kicker of uh, San Diego. So now Houston back on offense. So we get down to about nine minutes to play here. Pastorini leads the Oilers back out. They're up. That is a 24. Another good drive for the Oilers. They're looking good on the road today. And that's a 51. And that's going to be a touchdown pass to Caster. And Houston increases their lead. They got a touchdown run from Campbell. And now a touchdown pass from Pastorini to Caster. And just like that, it's 13 to 3, the visitors. So two scoring drives by the Oilers to kick things off. And the extra point is up. And the extra point is good. So each team has scored on their drives, but for right now, it is 14-3 for the Oilers. We're down to about six minutes to play here, and San Diego comes out with their second possession. Already trailing 14-3. And that's a good scoring drive as Faust brings the charges right back. And... A touchdown pass in the corner of the end zone to Joyner. He just hung on. And so a touchdown pass of their own by Fouts. And it's going to put them up to nine right now. Let's see if the extra point is good. They need 11 to 63. And 45 is right down the middle. So they answer it back. And we got a high scoring affair right now. 
out here on the West Coast as it's Houston 14 and San Diego 10. This will be the final possession here in the first half. Again, each team gets five possessions in the first half. So this will be the uh, first quarter, I should say, the final possession of the first quarter. So here comes Pastorini now. They got a touchdown run from Campbell and a touchdown pass from Pastorini to Castor, and they look to add more. And they will add some more. It's another scoring drive for Houston, just barely a 35. This time they will settle for the field goal. But they do come away with points. So Houston has scored on all three drives here in the first quarter so 17 to 10 now it's a high flying event here and that will do it in the first quarter so 17 points for the oilers 10 for the san diego chargers and now we go to the second san diego will get the ball here on the kickoff so let's reset our clock and change a quarter, and here we go right now. Second quarter action. It's been a wild, wild affair right now. And finally, we've got a defensive stop as the Oilers hold the Chargers. And a 15 is, that is a punt. They almost fumbled it, but they're going to punt it back to Houston. So Houston now with their first possession of the second quarter. They have scored on three drives. they got a... Touchdown run, a touchdown pass, and then finally a field goal. Oh, I didn't roll for that field goal. Just let's roll with the field goal. It's uh, 56 yards was the field goal. Okay. So now they're on offense right now. Pastorini leads them out, a 46. That's finally they get the San Diego defense gets a stop, and a 21 is a punt. So first punt of the day for the Oilers punter. I didn't get his name, so we'll have to just assume he was a good punter. And now we're down about nine minutes to play in the half. San Diego coming out now. They trail 17-10 to 10 here at home. And it's going to be a good drive by Fouts, though, as he drives him right down to the field. And a 62. But they're going to have to settle for another field goal. They didn't quite get there on third down, and 62 will be a field goal. So that will now be 17 to 13. Houston now on offense as time is tick tick kicking away here in the first half. So Houston goes back on offense. And it's another scoring drive. Pastorini is on fire today. And 16 is a touchdown run. Earl Campbell again can't be stopped. So it's a touchdown run and tack on six more. It's now 23 to 13 with only a couple of minutes to go here in the first half. So the roll for the point coming up. Frisch comes in. He's perfect so far in this game with field goals and extra points. 11 to 65. And 36 is right down the pipe. And so 24... The 13 for the Oilers as we come down to the final possession here in the first half. So San Diego comes out. At least they will get the ball back to start the second half. So the home crowd not too happy of what's going on here in San Diego. But it's a terrific drive to end the first half. They're down in scoring range. Fouts trying to make something happen. And he's going to dump that off. And it'll be a touchdown pass this time to Jefferson. So, touchdown pass to Jefferson, and they're right back in it. It's 24 to 19, pending the extra point. And that kick is up, and that kick is good. So, we're going to end the first half by a score of 24 to 20. An exciting first half it was. So, it was 17 to 10 after one. San Diego with 10 points. And Houston with the one touchdown run. And that's where we stand, 24 to 20. Getting ready for the third quarter now. San Diego gets the ball first in the second half. And let's see what they can do with it here. Fouts leads his team out. And it's another great drive to start the quarter here. Fouts driving deep into Houston territory. And the drive will stall. Incomplete pass. They will settle for the field goal. 
But that makes it a one-point game. So 24 to 23 here in San Diego on a field goal. And that was only a 31-yard kick. They came really close to getting back in this game and taking at least a 31 yards on the kick. So now Houston with the ball. Their first possession of the second half. They have a slim one-point lead. Pastorini leads them on a terrific drive down the field. That's the way to answer right there if you're the Oilers fan. Pastorini now on third down. Pastorini fires, and the pass sails over the head of the receiver, and they will have to settle for a field goal. And that is a 31-yard field goal as well. So teams trading 31-yard field goals here. And that is now a 27-23 lead for the Oilers. Time ticking away here in the third quarter. San Diego now with the ball. Fouts has got to play catch up one more time. Fouts. And, yeah, he leads him down the field. Dan Fouts looking to take the lead. And he's going to dump that off. And it's going to be caught by Joyner. That is a touchdown pass by Fouts. And let's see. That is his second touchdown pass of the game. No, make it his third touchdown pass. And they take the lead. 29-27 on the touchdown pass. Here's the point after, and the point after is good. So San Diego has their first lead of the game as they get a touchdown pass. They've scored on both drives here in the second half, and we've got a high-scoring game going here. It is 30-27. So now the Oilers come out trailing for the first time in this game. Pastorini leads him down the field, though, as the offense continues here in San Diego. And this is going to be Wilson taking this one in on the ground. He went to the right side, and it's a TD run for the Oilers, and they're back on top. So late here in the third quarter, a touchdown run as Pastorini and the Oilers answer, and 62, and the kick is just inside the bar, but it is good, and so they're back on top by four, 34 to 30 on the run by Wilson, so it's the final possession here of the third quarter, and San Diego finds himself trailing yet again, and nothing going on this drive, and a 41 and this is going to be intercepted. So the first mistake of the game goes to San Diego. It's an interception by the Oilers. And there's a small chance to return that back. They do not. But they will take over in great shape here as the third quarter ends with the Oilers leading this one 34-30 on the road and deep in San Diego territory. So we go to the fourth quarter. It is high scoring event. There's been 64 points scored today. So let's add this up. So San Diego with 3, 10. So San Diego gets to 30. And Houston with a field goal and a touchdown run. So they get 10. So that puts them, yep, right there. So 34 to 30. Whew, what a game. <laughs> this is fun. So Houston with the ball here. It's win or go home. Here in San Diego, so Houston, now we increase this to 35 because we're coming off the interception. And Houston drives it down the field again. And they will have to settle for the field goals. They couldn't get the first down on third and short. So it's going to be a field goal, and that's all important. Just getting any kind of points here in the fourth quarter is huge. And that was a 56-yard field goal, Frisch. Nailing that from a long way out. And now San Diego's got some work cut out for him. Still plenty of time in this game. So San Diego gets the ball back here in the fourth quarter. They will have three possessions. So there's still time for them. Fouch now down by a touchdown at home. 35. Oh, he just missed that pass. It sailed over the head of the receiver. And it lands right into the arms of the Houston linebacker. It's another interception for the Oilers. Coming at a key time. And a 16, uh, 61 will not get that in the end zone. So Houston 
comes back on offense in San Diego territory with a chance to possibly put this one away. Houston, Pastorini takes a snap, hands it off, but they couldn't get there. And they will have to punt this one away. So San Diego holds, and that was key as we're kind of running out of time here. We're down to five minutes to play in this game. This could be the last possession for the Chargers. They need a touchdown. Houston looking to advance to move on the next week against the winner of the Miami-Pittsburgh game, which we've already played, and we're not going to tell you what happened. And they do not convert. They can't get it to happen. The Houston defense holds with an interception. It's the third interception in a row here in the second half as we bring this down to two minutes, and we see what happened on that interception. And a 21, if that was the other way, it would have been a touchdown. But it's a 21, so it's not a touchdown. So Houston has the ball, and all they have to do is sit on it. And they do not. 52, this could be trouble. A 21. No, they did get the punt off. So they're going to punt it away, and that will do it. It's an upset here in San Diego with the final score. The Houston Oilers, 37 and the San Diego Chargers, 30. So let's just... So San Diego had three interceptions here in the second half. They come out with... Let's see. In, in this fourth quarter, no points. So all, the only points that we had was the field goal, the 56-yard field goal. Right? So that puts us at 37. The 30 is our final. So, so San Diego is eliminated, and Houston moves on. So I hope you enjoyed this game right here. Again, we're playing this one, game-winning drive. Pick it up at Down Esports. So we're down to our final four. We've got through the divisional playoffs, so please check out some of my other videos as we move on to the final four here in the 1979 football season. I'm Dave. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great day.